What up, y'all, and welcome to Homestead Miami Speedway for the 15th race in the 2022 NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series. We're gearing up for 67 laps of action in what is sure to be a strategy-type race. We saw only a handful of drivers last year make it on a one-stop, and one of those drivers was Nate Rogers, who starts a couple rows back on the outside line. I'm joined in the booth this week by Vince Freeze, and uh, he was with me in the booth last week for Darlington, but our good editor is back at the shop. Man, they cut up that video for y'all and uh, made that race not be 45 minutes of suffering like it was for me and Vince. Happy to be here in Florida, man. Absolutely happy. And we're expecting a great race tonight. Allison Rain looking to go back to back. Can Fitzwater do something with his luck? Can anyone stop Jonathan Zorlin? We know Sanford's back there. Should have a multi-groove night tonight, which is always nice for some pits. We're going to be here in Florida for the next three weeks as we've got the All-Star Weekend next week at Pensacola and then Points Pain Race at Pensacola for July 4th weekend. But on pole for the eighth time in her Digital Storm Cup Series career is Allison Rain. And this is her, if I can find her, second pole of the year. As fresh off her second win of the season, she jumps up to 15th in the point standings but only gaining six points over Zorlin. On her outside is Andrew Rich, a driver who has won here twice, both in even years at that 2018 and 2020. Row two, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. still looking for that first win of the year with Jonathan Zorlin to his outside. Alex Ferranti, great qualifying day uh, with Jessica Shelton to his right. Samet Oskin and RJ Bishop with a surprising qualifying run in row four. And then Peter Onjak and Sack Flickinger in row five. I'm going to go through the rest of the grid. Vince will say who didn't make the race and who has won here before other than Andrew Rich. There we go. We got Ora Chow, Mason Dagger, Reggie Fogelman, Bradley Ream, Derek Campbell, Owen Miles, Ace Riders, Scott Roush, Colt Hudson, Jack Holton, all missing the race. We go to those past winners. We had James Shelley, 27 Chevy, 2017. 2018, Andrew Rich got done one of his two wins here at Homestead in the Dodge. Off 19, 2020, back to Andrew Rich, like I said, like Zach said, with the Subaru. And then 2021, Nate Rogers in that dramatic finish. Can he make it two in a row this year? We'll find out. That's about all I got. And Dylan Young ran out. Well, didn't run out. He picked coming the two to go last year in a win that would have put him in the championship finale. He starts 38th today. Uh, bad qualifying effort from him. We'll get to the point standings here in a moment, but we're about to go trackside for the Command the Fire Engines. Can Allison Rain go back-to-back -back heading into the All-Star Weekend? Drivers, start your engine! So turning the focus to the point standings after Charles Sanford retired from that incident at Darlington Raceway. Sorlin now has a 147-point lead over Charles, 159 over Seth Cole, 164 over Andrew Rich, and 169 over Nico Tringali. Alexander Rowe, 173 back. Nate Rogers, 181 back. Austin, 190. Onjak, 226. And Fitzwater, 236. As uh, Dylan Young fell out of the top 10 after last week, Allison Rain jumped up to 15th. As mentioned, Shelton dropped down to 17th. Keith Rich down to 19th. And uh, Henry Sanford, Levi McIntyre, they got locked in. And for the first time in his Digital Storm career, Ace Rogers is missing a race after he did not qualify for tonight. You know, just barely fell out of the top 30 events and then just had a terrible lap and go or go home. And he is sitting on the sidelines with teammate Colt Hudson. Yeah, he'll be in the stands tonight, but. Like you said, man, Allison Ray, Andrew Rich, some of the legends of the sport. Here we go in the four. Take it home, buddy, to start us off. Coming to the green flag, will we see a green flag race here once again? Will it be a one-stop strategy to get you the win? Green flag is out, and Rain with a great jump is going to clear Andrew Rich immediately. And Fitzwater right there is going to fly on by for second. Tire wear is heavy here at Homestead, just like it was heavy last week at Darlington. So we're going to see a lot of comers and goers here tonight. 
We've also seen our fair share of Seth Bullocks to go three wide of Fitzwater versus Rain Battles, but Andrew Rich seems to have a lot of pace, it looks like, early on. Rich in third, Seth Cole up to fourth, Ferranti in fifth, and Charles Sanford events already moving forward. We saw him start outside the top 10. Same with Nate Rogers, but Nate is going backwards. Oh, Sorlin, that's big for the championship. Yeah, Sorlin is falling back right now, too. Maybe not the best car for him here tonight. As you see Rich already looking to the inside of Fitzwater, but he didn't have any drafts, so Seth Cole drafted up alongside him. That inside line going to hold Seth Cole at bay for Rich. His fastest lap on the race right now belongs to Samet Oskin. Now you see Oskin up to ninth. Charles Sanford up to seventh. Looking for sixth on Shelton. Was not a good meeting for those two Monday after Darlington. As now Kev Shear was put in a move there. Almost went three wide, but thought better. And now Alexander Rowe has gotten by Cole Deaver to get inside the top 10. Fitzy looking underneath rain. That's a shot. Fitzwater has closed the gap and set the fastest lap of the race on lap four. Foster's coming on board for Fitzwater here a third of the way through the season. Saw the scheme debut back at Rockingham. And we expect to see the Foster's colors a lot this summer. See Seth Cole peeking the nose under Andrew Rich for third as Ferranti still holding on to fifth. Now Sanford in a three wide with Kev Shearer. Kev Shearer looking strong here tonight in the early goings. As we go through the field, you see Sorlin in 14th place. Nate Rogers trying to move up. That would be for, I believe, uh, 17th there on William Brock. As you see Dylan Young, Vince, who started 38th, has already cracked the top 25. And he could be cracking the top 20 here soon. I feel saving there. It's all out. That is the one thing to think about here tonight is who's going to fuel save and who isn't. See, Samet Oskin now has flown up to fifth place. As moves for first and third, Fitzwater on rain, Seth Cole on Rich. Seth Cole was the first driver to get the two wins at the beginning of the year, and then Zorlin was the first to get the three wins. We've got Zorlin with three, Rain with two, and Seth Cole with two. Seth Cole could be looking to answer Allison Rain's win last week, Vince. We've seen this happen between the top four on the all-time wins list a lot since last year where uh, Sorlin tied Rich and then Rain tied Rich and then Rich went and won three races in the playoffs. Now And then now this year, Seth Cole answered off quick with two wins. And then we saw Rain get a win to pull back that gap. Because Seth had tied hers. Now Rain is stuck and right back under Fitzwater. And then we've seen the same thing with Sorlin and Andrew at the top of the board. Where Sorlin took that wins record at 16. And then Rich next race tied it right back up. And they're getting pretty racy up here at the front. As Austin, Shearer, and Alexander Rowe are closing up. That's big for Sorlin. Got around Sanford. Sanford's falling back. That's huge for the point situation. I'm going to tell you right now, Zach... Rain just seems to control the pace. And we'll start to make that break soon. Just maybe saving a little tire, which is important at Homestead, like you said earlier in the broadcast. And I'm just think about this. Last season, Rain was one of the most consistent drivers to start the year. And she faded a little bit. Didn't, didn't win as much as we thought she would have. She only got the five wins on the season. And Sorlin was consistent for the most part all year. Sanford was that little bit more consistent last year, if you look at the full season picture. But this year, Sorlin has been Mr. Consistency. But if you can get a race where he doesn't finish in the top 10, and you're one of those guys, top 5, top 10 in points right now, 
getting a top five, top three finish, if not the win, is going to be huge to close the gap. You know, I know we keep talking about Pensacola, uh, the Puka Kohei doubleheader, Armory Digital, Talladega at the end of the season. But you can't rely on those races to be Zorlin's bad races because they could be your bad races. He's got to go now, and he's in the top 10 again, it looks like. And Zorlin just got by Deaver for 10th. Sorlin has had an unprecedented season after winning the championship. Did not expect him to be this consistent. Most top fives and top tens by far over the rest of the field. But you never know, Vince. Once you get that one bad race, you could start having several bad races. Dylan Youngman is on the charge. Look at this. And that is for 13th on Charles Sanford. It looked like Sanford was charging at first there, Vince, but... Maybe he's going into fuel saving mode here. I'm not sure what the strategy is going to be tonight. We know you can make it to 30, uh, 29 to 32 laps would be the two stop window. If you can stretch it to 33, 34, you're looking at a one stopper. And the field's pretty spread out, so I think this thing should go green. As Seth Cole now is looking for the lead on Rain. Austin has moved up to third. Shearer in fifth. As Andrew Rich now is fading, he's down to seventh. Hoppers and goers, like you said, at the top. Now, let's see where it's Peter. He's having a good run. Let's see what the lead does. It looks like the draft's going to be important. There's Mr. Coconut Man himself. Bye bye bye, Seth Cole, with help with his fellow drink man, Fitzwater, with some beer. Yeah, I don't think the bi antioxidant drink really mixes well with Foster's beer, but that's just my personal opinion. It might for Fitzwater, anything mixes well with that guy. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Ah, uh, yes. Happy Father's Day weekend to everybody. We're racing here Saturday night. Father's Day tomorrow. Also, I want to wish everybody a happy Juneteenth. New federal holiday this year. Let's throw in first day of summer is right around the corner, too, on the 21st. Yeah, man. Quite the week coming up here. Now, Austin got up to third. Fades back now to fifth as Kev Shear will move up to fourth. See, gonna go through the field on the ticker here. See, Ajak in 11th, Dylan Young up to 12th, Sanford 14th, Logan York having a great, great race in 15th. Nate Rogers hasn't really gone anywhere, Vince. He's still sitting 16th. Ferranti has faded back to 17th. Quinton Moore in 20th. You see, Stephen Colon, Roy Ribbleton, Amanda Evans, McIntyre, Adam Flickinger, top 25. Yepes 27th, Brock 28th, Williams 29th, Henry Sanford in 30th, Kukulon 32nd, Ellison 33rd, Bishop 35th, man, he has fallen big time from where he started. Jesse Turner having a bad day, he's in 36th. He almost won here against Andrew Rich in 2020. Moran Auskis, who was quick in practice, is 38th, McShane in 40th. This fall off has about reached the second and a half. It's now Fitzwater to the inside of Seth Cole for second, but it's been Allison Rain. She she lost the lead once really quickly there to Fitzwater Vince, and then she took it right back, and no one has challenged her for it since. Picking up where she left all the darling, just literally right there after the checkered flag. But Dylan Young is the man to watch. He's now cleared that second pack and is going to start breaking away a little bit. He is up to 11th now. As you see, Onjak, Deaver, and Sanford, they are trailing. And then a big gap back to Nate, who's in 15th. But while that's happened, Tringali, Sorlin, Shelton, D. Young, they've all closed up on this pack. D. D Young, man, he ran a 30.1 last time by to Reigns 30.4. He is flying tonight. Oh, wait, he's fuel saving. And this, that's the other thing is who's fuel saving? Fitzwater's going to take the lead. Do you want to be out front burning more fuel? And this is quite the battle up here tonight, Vince. Man, all these drivers seem to have cars that could win. You got Fitzwater, Rain, Seth Cole, Shearer, Austin. I mean, Rich has kind of faded, but he's still here in this pack, in this group. But when we look at the strategy picture, I think it's really going to come down to one of these 11. As Fitzwater takes the lead. Rain falls all the way down to fourth. 
Maybe she'll lose some more positions here as Shearer's to her inside, but Fitzwater takes the lead. Seth Cole in second. When you look at fastest times, it goes Fitzwater, Seth, Rich, Austin, Rain, Deaver, who's not in this group, Roe, Tringali, Shearer, and Logan York, who's not in this group. D. Young, 16th on the board, but we know he is fast tonight. I'd expect him to set a flyer once pit stops spread out the field. But he has just gotten by Shelton for 10th. As now Sorlin, he's made his way up to 8th, and now he's looking to pass Alexander Rowe for 7th. So might have been running in 15th earlier, Vince, but he has come to life here at the end of this run. Definitely sandblasted Charles right there, no pun intended. At this point, it's really all about staying in this pack and seeing who wants to lead because Seth Cole is definitely challenging Fitzy peeking a little bit, a little back off. And yeah, this is quite the difference from what we saw last week at Darlington where it was pretty much between Rain, Zorlin, and Nate Rogers, and then you just couldn't do anything to pass anybody. And Rain just had it locked down. Zorlin to the inside of Tringali. That is for sixth. You saw Seth Cole and Austin looking to the inside of Fitzwater, but Fitzwater got that run off of turn four. Yeah, Fitzy trying to get that, use those right sides, any grip left on the tire to get those huge accelerating runs. Sorlin couldn't do much on the bottom, but Trick Alley should have it off top. Now you see Dylan Young, Dylan Young up to ninth, Alexander Rowe out of the top ten. Sorlin held off by Tringali there. See that tire where I make that top side a little more usable. Austin going to dive it in on Seth Cole. This is for second. Shear looking to get by Rain for fourth. What a night for Kev, man. He Just did really well at Texas, though. Got to give him credit. You know, he was on that overcut strategy big time at Texas. That's what really got him that win. But he was top 15 speed. He is really fast. This team must have learned a lot from, from that Texas race. That was the last race similar to this kind of track. Of course, Homestead doesn't have a quad oval or tri oval or anything, but similar banking. So Oskins looking for the lead on Fitzwater here on lap 27. Only at two seconds of fall off here, Vince, so I'm not sure if these these cars are falling off enough to get them to a, to a one stop here. You know, fall off is part of the fuel saving. As the 11's got a flat tire, and it's caused what a, a wreck. huge wreck. Well, that changes everything. That's Logan Williams, Sebastian Kukulon, Brent James, Christian Vargas. Austin will lead him back to the yellow flag. So much for staying green. Oh, Ellison's got front end damage. Well, this is going to make the strategy even more interesting here, Vince, because you're not going to make it 37 laps. So everyone's going to be pitting once this thing goes back green. But let's take a look at what brought out the caution. So Logan Williams racing Henry Sanford for 27th. He's gonna blow a tire here. Coming off a of turn four, you can see the car stepping out and he's trying to pull it down, trying to pull it down and Kukulon just has nowhere to go. He's gonna run right into the back of him. There's Vargas nowhere to go. Look at Jesse Turner, quick thinking, straight to the left, just misses this. Good job by Christian Russell. Yep. <laughs> James Ellison gets into this, nowhere to go. Brent James gets a big piece. That opens the gap for Baranowskis, Fence Freeze, Lane Sanders, Bishop, and McShane. And you see Saylor and Trey Smith go by as well. So four-car incident here today. And uh, that has shifted the pit strategy tenfold. So let's get you guys to the race restart. 
Getting ready to go back racing. Austin remains the race leader. Kevshear up to second. Rain in third. Tringali fourth. Fitzwater fifth. Sorlin, Rowe, D. Young, Shelton, Seth Cole, the top ten. Seth Cole losing a lot of positions there on pit stops. Andrew Rich in 13th. Sanford up to 11th. Christian Vargas continuing one lap down. And Logan Williams, that car is actually quite salv salv blah, 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 blah. I said that wrong. Salvageable. Salvageable. Yeah. I can't say it. My tongue can't do it. Green flag's back out. Must be a Massachusetts thing. I just can't pronounce that word, bro. Salvageable. There we go. Salvageable. There you go. Kev Shearer straight to the inside of Samet Oskin. It's going to take that race lead as Christian Vargas is oh, no. big time slow on the jump. Dolan got through too. That's big. Sanford in. Now he is. Sanford, Seth Cole, Andrew Rich. Now he's not that off pace. Just slow, slow on the get-go. That split up the pack. Now, if you're Rich, Sanford, or Seth Cole, you've got to show the paces. It's Kev Shear out front. There you see Logan Williams. He he appears to be okay. Mostly just rear end damage on his car. Tringali to the inside of Austin. That's for third. Now, looking at the points, Vince, the big guys that could benefit here if they can finish ahead of Zorlin are Seth, Andrew Rich, Tringali, Austin. Fitzwater, all those guys are top 10 in points. Of course, Allison Rain, you know, trying to make a comeback season here after what's been a very inconsistent year. And there you see Rain. Rain charging on the inside line. Now, remember, we thought this would be a green flag race based on last year's results, but the flat tire by the 11 changed everything. I don't foresee anybody making it 36 laps on a gas tank here under green conditions it's it's going to be interesting but vince in my opinion i think the further you stretch it the less fuel you'll take on let's say you take fuel at three to go versus taking fuel at six to go i think you're going to save about three seconds if you pit at three to go i don't think you need tires for no that run there, definitely for not sure. I think Rain just has the better car to turn in and turn out, especially off the of three and four. I think that's what the pass will be. And Rain and Kev, they've they've gapped Fitzy just a bit. It's not much, but it's still something. So adjustments made on the pit stops. Alice and Rain though gonna go right back out front to the race lead. So we hit 31 to go. Fitzwater still third, row fourth, Sorlin up to fifth. Charles Sanford in the top 10 in ninth. As Seth Cole struggling after that pit stop, he is in 13th. Can't say enough about Logan York's night in 14th place. Adam Flickinger, 15th. Yepes in 18th. Or 17th, actually, as Onjak lost some positions that lap. Henry Sanford, one of those drivers, right around that top 30 bubble. He's having a good night. Just got passed, though, by Cologne for 20th. Priya McShane and Yepes, man, they've been racing to try and get top 30 for pretty much the entire season. And Cole Deaver had a terrible pit stop. He's way down here in the running order. He is in 31st. Alex Ferranti, man. But it's Allison Rain leading the charge. Pretty single file. We saw Sanford there get by Dylan Young for eighth fence. I think Dylan Young don't have that magic from the first run compared to the second run. Just isn't there yet. And unlike the first run where everyone was pretty close, Allison Rain is starting to pull away. Fastest lap of the race belongs to Kev Shearer, a 28 973, but Rain is right there with him with a 983. Fitzy's lap tied by Sorlin, 990. Sanford, 994. D Young, 29028. Man, all of these cars are really quick, Vince. And I think it's really just going to come down to how you want to manage your tires on this run. 
As you see Rowe. Rowe to the inside of Fitzy. That's for third. Sanford on the inside of Austin. That's for sixth. And he knows who's in front of him. And look at the, the drive there. Mid corner by the 0-3. Now Vince. Here last year. Sure. Vince. Yeah, Vince. Interesting statistic. If you looked at last year as a full season title, Sanford would have beat Sorlin in the championship by 16 points or so. They're the top two in the point standings this year for a reason. Of course, Sanford with the bad run in the accident last week really hurt him, dropped him 52 points from Zorlin, and it's going to take a lot of work to get that 147-point gap closed up. It's going to take some bad luck. You look at the statistics. Zorlin, three wins, 10 top fives, 12 top tens, average finish of 6.43. Sanford, one win, six top fives, seven top tens, average finish of 12.21. As Rowe was unable to get by Fitzwater, and it's still a rain Kev Shearer show at the front. I figure Rain will probably take the undercut strategy again. I'm guessing pit stops are going to open up around lap 60 vents, but if drivers want to take tires, that could open up as soon as maybe like lap 52 or so if they want to go for right sides only. Yeah, it's risky, though, but Sanford's underneath the roll, and that could be big. He's got to start making hay. There it is. Sanford needs a top five result here tonight. He needs Sorlin to not finish top five at all. It's where the money's at. The, the big point gains come in the top five. More positions you gain in the top five, you know, the more points you'll gain as both Austin and Tringali went by Zorlin with them. So drop Zorlin from fifth to eighth. Dylan Young, we saw all that pace out of him in the first stint. He is still riding in ninth. As you see, Kev Shearer, man, he started to close the gap back up to Allison Rain. Fitzwater on back. They are all running about two tenths off. So I'm not sure if this is a little fuel saving strategy or what the case is here. At this point, the fuel saving would be just try to get the shortest amount of gas on pit road. Maybe if like you said two to three to go, it would be clutch. Kev Shear does have good turn. Yeah, I'm telling you, Starcom, they've done a good job tonight. I give them credit. They've learned a lot in their mile and a half program. Charles Sanford looking to the inside of Alexander Rowe. That's for fourth place. How about Zach Flickinger up to 10th? Andrew Rich out of the top 10, still in 11th. Nate Rogers has climbed up steadily. He's now in 13th. Seth Cole back up to 14th, or rather down to 14th. As Logan York sits in 15th. Charles Sanford will take fourth place away from Alexander Rowe. Now, Charles... Uh, Sorry, Vince, if you look at the drivers, top five on the all-time wins list, Sorlin with three wins this year, Rain with two, Seth Cole with two. Sanford and Rich are the only two in that top five with just one win this season. So you got Fitzwater, sixth all-time with no wins this year. Nate Rogers, seventh all-time with one win this year. And then a five-way tie at five wins between Deanna Jones, Alex Gray, Cole Deaver, Alexander Rowe, and Dylan Young, we've seen Young and Rowe win this year. We haven't seen Deaver win since 2019, and it's not its not going to happen tonight. He has rebounded well. He's back up to 20th. How about Vince Freeze in 19th? Um, but Deaver and Fitzwater, man, especially Tringali more so than Fitzwater, Deaver and Tringali have not won a race since 2019, and they, they have had their moments. Deaver has qualified well, Vince, some weeks I feel like but just hasn't had the car to stay up front. And then Tringali, we know we've seen him. He's got pace a lot of weeks to be top 10, and other, and then those other weeks he's got the pace to win. But tonight looks like one of those top 10 nights. Yeah, Deeper had that dual win. That was pretty exhilarating for him. Other than that, it's been no show. Now we got the 11. I mean, they're still a little far away from rain. That's going to start giving a little dirty air. Let's see if Captain Close and Stanford's on a mission too. Out. Yeah, the speed difference between the 11 to the 10 is 8 tenths. The 42 is another 3 tenths off. But Sanford will get by Fitzwater for third. Sanford seems to be the only one back here making ground. Tringali looking for sixth on Cement Austin. 
Could Sorlin follow through to take back seventh? Zach Flickinger's moved up to ninth as Dylan Young is now faded to 11th. You got to wonder what the strategy is going to be. They're at lap 51. So 16 to go next time by. Sanford is closing on rain, as is Kev Shearer. Reflex stops, and now here we go. The 11 starting to really now tense catching that 11 in the wake. Let's see what happens with the front end. Let's see if it starts pushing tight. Rain pulled back a tenth that lap, but Sanford gained the tenth on the 10. We gotta wonder who's got what it takes to make some gains here. Tringali got by Austin there for six. Now Sorlin's gonna make a move on him for seventh. It's behind them, Nate Rogers up to 12th over Jessica Shelton. So you see Seth Cole, Logan York. These guys really spaced out back here as Deaver's going to take 18th from Keith Rich. Quiet night for Quinton Moore there in the mid-20s. Mid Turner rebounding from earlier up to 26. We saw him narrowly miss that accident. Lane Sanders was at the very back. He's 28th. And Ellison with his damage hasn't fared too, too bad. He is still 37th. But here you go. Rain looking to get by Williams. By the way, Brent James and Kukulon were the two to retire from that accident. I don't think we covered that. But Rain has continued to pull away from Kev. She catches the 11. She pulled away from Sanford that time as well. She's going to get a little stuck here behind them down this back straightaway, though. Oh, feel safe a little bit. That pushed them down the straightaway. Gets to us inside the pass them. Uh, let Kevin Charles gain a ton of time, I think. So if you're Kevin Charles, you got to make a big gain here. Big move here. Yeah, you see only about a tenth, though. Rain's going to rain's gonna catch Vargas here, too. Kev's going to get held up here on exit. It's going to hurt him a ton. Sack Flickinger behind them. Up to seventh. As Sorlin has faded... He's been passed back by Austin. Andrew Rich has gotten by him. Sorlin on the verge of maybe falling out of the top 10 because Nate Rogers is right there too. This is big for the championship in Charles Sanfer. Kev, get Kev gets by the 11. I think Charles might have a shot at second, but I think depending on the fuel strategy here, Rain's got another one in the bag. And if it wasn't for that under fuel... Wasn't for that under fuel at Rockingham, Vince. We could have been looking at maybe rain going three in a row again. Could have been, yeah. It could have been a what if, what if scenario right there. We have not seen go. not seen anybody win back to back yet this season. Excuse me, Austin will fall out of the top ten. Sorlin holds on to ninth. Tire wear is at two seconds. Coming to 10 to go this time by. When do you pit? When does this when does this window open up? So Rain's got a 1.2 second lead now over Kev Shearer. And Sanfer is not closing the gap any longer. Nate Rogers to the inside of Sorlin. That's for ninth. Austin looking to take back 10th. If you can get Sorlin out of the top 10, that's a huge points day. I think we got pit stops. Allison Rain, first one in. Sorlin's going to come in too. Now, if you're taking tires here, maybe right side tires. Cole Deaver actually. Yeah, Deaver pit last time by, and he took two. It looks like right side tire call here. This could be a taking two call versus taking none call going on, going on here. Oh, man, I'm repeating my words. Let's see what Allison Rain does. Right hey, side's yeah, up. Side. Kev Shear will lead in. Charles Sanford now. Nate Rogers, Austin, Dylan Young, Shelton all in pit road. I think a lot of these guys are going to take two, Vince. Yeah, it's too, it's too, too early for that no call tires I think yep right sides are up 
That gave Fitzwater the lead. Dylan Young with a two-tire call. Here comes Fitzwater. Here comes Rowe. Zach Flickinger and Andrew Rich are going to stay out. Uh-oh, watch. Uh, there we go. There's Allison Rain, though. Currently a lap down. Let's see what the call did. There's Kev Shearer. There's Charles Sanford. That gap. Look at that gap go. Where's Zorlin, though, compared to the 03? I don't see him anywhere. There he is. Rich Flickinger, they will pit. Last two to the pit. Last two to the pit lane. Rain will get her lap back. Still seeing everybody going with right sides here. There's Fitzy. But looks like Allison Rain has this one in the bag. Sanford is the closest one up. But I don't think he has time to close the distance. Question is, Andrew Rich, what's his fueling like? It could be less as Vargas comes in. Nope, they are taking rights. So that's going to neutralize any less fuel. So Allison Rain looks like she's going to be the first to win two in a row this year. She's got a three and a half second lead over Charles Sanford. And Sanford is not closing. Kev Shearer third, Fitzwater fourth, Rowe fifth, Sorlin in sixth with D. Young to his inside. D. Young and Nate Rogers looking to gain some positions here. This would be big for Charles Sanford. Yep, and the nine and the two are going to go right by. That's going to drop the five to eight. Behind them, 9th and 10th, Austin and Tringali. The sack Flickinger, that pit stop dropped him out of the top 10. Now, he, now he's got Seth Cole, Deaver. Look at Deaver's undercut, man. Put him all the way up to 12th. Andrew Rich is up here. Shelton, Quinton Moore up to 16th. So it's a hornet's nest for 11th, first spot out of the top 10. So now Rowe is falling. That's going to move Nate Rogers up to fifth. And Sanford just can't do anything to close the distance on Allison Rain. Three laps to go here at Homestead Miami Speedway. So a different kind of strategy race here tonight due to that yellow Vince. Um, but still an exciting one to watch, I'd say, compared to last week. Anything beats last week, and you gotta give Rain credit. Just knows how to do it. Speedway's the all-time sp uh, Speedway win leader, if I'm not mistaken. So add another one. Yeah, thir 13 of her 15 wins come on this kind of track. And another thing to look at here is this would be her 14th Speedway win. This would be her be her 16th career win, tying up Andrew Rich and Sorlin. So we're gonna have a three-way tie on that all-time wins list once more. Coming to the white flag. One more lap to go around Homestead Miami Speedway. But the championship's the bigger picture here. Rain is going to gain a lot of points here over Zorlin. Oh, my fall to the top 10. He's definitely falling back, but here we go. He fell down to 10th that time by at the line. I don't think Andrew Rich is going to get there, so Sorlin will get a top 10 tonight, but it's going to be Allison Rain getting the win. Charles Sanford getting second. This is going to help both of them big in the title hunt. Off of turn four, Rain will be the first driver to go back-to-back -back in 2022. Stand for a second. Kev Shearer, great race in third. Fitzwater, fourth. Nate Rogers, fifth. Dylan Young, Alexander Rose, Samet Oskin, Nico Tringali, and Jonathan Zorlin. Round out the top ten. 
Andrew Rich in 11th. Shelton 12th. Seth Cole 14th. Flickinger 15th there fell at the end. Deaver 16th. Yepes great night in 20th. Henry Sanford rookie of the race in 18th. Vince Freeze 21st man. Turner 22nd. Peter Onjak 31st. He fell at the end of this thing. And of course Brett James and Kugelon out of the race but That'll do it here for us tonight. We'll see you guys next week for the Pensacola All-Star Race. Non-points paying event. We'll sure to have a loaded showdown field as always. It's not a lot of drivers win races anymore. But it uh, should be a fun one. Uh, I'm not sure of the format quite yet. But that'll be a thing to the side once we see how many drivers we've got locked into the All-Star Race. So with that said, we'll see you guys next week at Pensacola. I know.